Mr. Barrett. Uh, no, I would look embarrassed if I was you. Because that boy, the one in the fancy suit, he looked terrified that night. Yeah. Guilty of sin. The worst bit nearly over. We'll get our turn next. Here, maybe, maybe you ought to wear your school uniform tomorrow. Okay. How'd it go, Dad? Just get on with your own work. Why do you talk to her like that? Just ignore him. Did Andrew Harper report his car stolen that night? No, sir. He admitted being at the scene? Yes. And he called his father to come to the scene? Yes. Well, surely these actions cannot be considered as consistent uh, with a person who's just murdered someone. Oh, I don't know, sir. I've never murdered anyone. <laughs> Order! Oh, I'm sorry, my lady. Your client may wish to remember the very serious position he's in, Mr. Keane. It won't happen again. Miss Cartwright? Milady, I have no further questions. Milady, I can confirm I do not intend to call my client, Darren Lewis. Mr. Keane has explained to you, young man, that the jury may draw adverse inference from your decision not to give evidence. In other words, they might think you've got something to hide. No, wait. Do you wish to give evidence? My lady, yeah, right, may I spend some time with my client? I, I changed my mind. Sit down. Sit down, Darren. I, I can do that, can't I? Yes, Darren, you can. Why don't we rise now, Mr. King? All rise. What are you playing? What are you going to tell them? It's all right, Andy. I know what I'm doing. I need to talk to him. What are you going to tell them? Hey, look, short. I just...